We're joined by Douglas van der Weyl. Douglas is the Chief Gross Officer of Advario. Advario is maybe a, a company not known to to, uh, to everybody, but it is um, an oil infrastructure or, or a molecule infrastructure, as to say, company. So involved with terminals and pipelines and, and, and helping the logistics of, of the increasingly complex landscape, I guess, as, as we enter the energy transition. So welcome, Douglas. Thanks for joining. Thanks very much. Good morning and uh, and nice to be here. And you're, you're obviously going to be speaking at the World Hydrogen Week, which is uh, fast approaching us in, 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 I think, your hometown of, of Rotterdam, uh, October the 9th to the 13th. Um, and, and you've obviously had a, a, you know, obviously a long career in, in, in your sector and, 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 and uh, also across the world. So maybe you could give us an introduction to yourself and, and Advario and the, and the network. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks, Nadim. So, so indeed, I've, uh, I've been in the industry for for 23 years now. Uh, a very large chunk of that has been in, in the Far East as well as the Middle East. And uh, I filled um, different, different roles from business development, commercial, general management, uh, responsible for, uh, for regions, Southeast Asia, China, and uh, Europe, Middle East, Africa. And within uh, Advario now today, I'm, uh, I'm responsible for our, our, our growth worldwide. And um, and as you mentioned, Advario is a, a carve out from from oil tanking, a very future focused uh, company, which um, which has a big ambition to to grow uh, and also uh, take a, a front runner role on, on sustainability. So where where and how do we want to grow? Our focus is uh, is is predominantly on on chemicals, gas, and uh, and the energy transition. And uh, out of that carve out, we've taken uh, we've taken thirteen terminals spread across the world in the in the key uh, key hub locations. Excellent, and those I mean the key hub locations are uh, I assume sort of Middle East, China, Europe, uh, USA, or yeah, correct. So so we've got the U.S. Uh, Gulf Coast, ARA, Middle East, uh, Singapore, in um, and then uh, and then uh, China. Yeah, excellent. And in terms of handling the the the, the complexity, um, you know, we 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 obviously seeing huge interest in and in development of projects in hydrogen. Hydrogen is obviously tough to to move around. So so we, we're talking about derivatives. We've obviously got the derivative summits happening in in, in Rotterdam, and, and uh, chiefly you've got sort of ammonium, methanol, but equally LOHC, and and also even even other other, other products like DME being being spoken about. What what what, what, what are some of those different derivatives uh, and, what, and what are the challenges for, for from your perspective in terms of, of handling them? Yeah, correct. I think you uh, you mentioned uh, all the all the uh, derivatives there. Um, they all have different characteristics. Uh, I think um, if you look at uh, methanol as a uh, as a potential uh, low carbon fuel, uh, a lot of sound around that one in the bunkering space uh, today. Uh, we store a lot of methanol in our uh, in our facilities, and and the infrastructure required for for that is um, it, it, I'd say is nothing out of the ordinary. Um, same goes for LOHCs in that sense, uh, aromatic uh, derivatives. We um, we store that in our facilities as well. This this is infrastructure with with either the existing setup or with minor modifications you can you can deploy for um, for these low carbon fuels. I think. Um, Ammonia has has been earmarked as the, as the lowest um, uh, low, lowest cost uh, carrier for for hydrogen. Uh, ammonia does have certain implications. It's it's complex infrastructure. The the nature of the product, uh, the capital outlay is uh, is big. So uh, those are some of the challenges around around that one. But uh, within Advario, we uh, we store ammonia. Already within our portfolio, have done for uh, for over uh, seven years uh, in in China, and right now we're uh, you, you know we've uh, we've got a project in in the US, and and towards the end of the year we'll be commissioning one of the largest ammonia tanks in uh, in the world. Yeah, I mean, and um, I guess one of the other challenges is maybe around sort of certification. Obviously, there was um, certainly certification in in the biofuels area. Um, likewise, I assume with the, the source of different products and, and people obviously previously talking about blue and green, but hopefully we're just we're going to be using sort of you know, the emissions profile of these products. But but um, 
I guess certification is an inbuilt part of, of of what you do as well in terms of ensuring the the the, the source and uh, of products. Yeah, exactly. So so you've got um, you've got production and supply, and then you you've got offtake and and end markets, right? Consumption locations and uh, production and supply. There's different different sources. So so you know you can refer to blue or green, or you say it's uh, renewable hydrogen or low carbon hydrogen. Um, if you look at uh, the locations where production uh, projects are taking place, the U.S. obviously a large, large potential off the back of IRA, mm -hmm. but uh, but the same in uh, in the Middle East, uh, you got some locations: Latin America, Africa, Australia, and then consumption is is Northwest Europe and, and Northeast Asia. Uh, key is to to make sure you get the uh, get the product. Um, you know, build up the value chain and build it up in in sequence so that production doesn't run ahead of consumption. Mm -hmm. That offtake is there to to take off and 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 bring to uh, to destination. Uh, we speak to the market. We speak to uh, to all the players that are uh, in this space. Um, storage and logistics is is a critical part of the value chain. That's where we bring our expertise. Um, but. Um, yeah, it's it, you know we 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 have to look at at the end markets. That's mm. where the the end product uh, is is determined, and the certification is is critical for that part. So if you then step back through the value chain, you need to make sure that that certification is from from origin to to destination. We can certify so um, tracking and tracing product on specification and origin is something we've done. Um, you know, since inception, with uh, with traditional fuels, and uh, and for the new fuels, we uh, we don't see that as uh, as as any challenge we can't overcome. We can do that, so we can play our part in, in certifying uh, the product and the value chain for our customers. And in terms of where the industry is, obviously, it's in, it, you know, hopefully on the inflection point, going up the maturity curve, and I guess volumes starts lower or lower and, and build up but, but clearly there have to be some step changes to like you know, book and contract infrastructure and stuff what sort of flexibility can you provide clients in 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 that sort of rollout or scale up yeah i think if you if you look at uh, where we are today and the um you know the projects that have been announced or projects that have passed fid mm. and if you compare that to the the ambition that has been set for 2030, there's still there's still quite a gap. So, uh, you know, we the, there's momentum, but we need to make sure that we keep keep that momentum. Uh, how can we play our part again towards uh, towards our customers and market? Um, there is existing infrastructure which you could redeploy. So again, as mentioned, for example, for methanol, you could you could you could deploy it or redeploy it. Um, but also for for ammonia, which which is uh, as mentioned more complex, you could uh, you know you could talk to multiple parties. You could pool the product. It's uh, it's one spec. It's about tracing origin, mm -hmm. and and that way build scale and bring the uh, the cost down. So those discussions we have with uh, with our customers, and we see how we can align it all. Mm -hmm. uh, to the benefits of uh, moving uh, moving forward with these developments. Yeah, yeah, that makes makes a lot of sense. And I guess also, yeah, I guess it's also about certainty in terms of uh, from everything in terms of obviously getting finance through, and that requires the, the policy regulatory certainty. And then then once the finance is through, they people can start uh, you know, making the capex decisions to to sort of book infrastructure and make modifications to infrastructure and. and start building the, the supply chain um i guess so yeah yeah excellent yeah, if, if, indeed if i can if i can just add to that indeed what's extremely important is that 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 value chain is all interlinked and, mm. and as you say indeed bankability comes with um you know counterpart offtake uh is it uh, is it are we talking about credible players in the market uh can they pull through with the uh, with the projects it's all extremely important to, to have that front to end uh, value chain build up. Yeah, exactly. Otherwise, uh, as you say, product, product doesn't get shipped to, to market. So um, many thanks, um, Douglas. Thanks for, for taking the time out today to, to, to chat to us. 
fascinating um to hear your your, your perspective and and look forward to to hearing more in, in the world hydrogen week and uh and meeting you in person absolutely thanks very much uh, and uh, very much looking forward to the uh, the conference um to share my views but also to to listen to others and uh, um and learn from each other and and uh, yeah looking forward to the uh the conference thanks exactly. very much exactly many thanks Douglas. cheers take care bye bye thanks